All right. So um, most people uh, that start off writing German bass uh, will ask the big question, how do I make a Reese sample or a Reese bass? Um, it's the main uh, thing people know about German bass and they hear in German bass. And it's, it's, it's one of the most important aspects of uh, making German bass music. Um, it's very easy to do and... But most people do struggle with it a lot because they don't know how to do it. And it's very simple. Uh, I'll just make a combinator so I can use multiple uh, oscillators to make a very strong uh, Reese. But it will be just a simple standard Reese that uh, is available in uh, most drum and bass tracks. All right, we got the combinator here. Let's just create a simple Reese um, with a maelstrom. Um, this is the os these are the two oscillators, oscillator A, oscillator B, oscillator A and oscillator B, sorry. Um, right now, you hear a sign. We don't want it, we, wa we want a sawtooth. Just a very simple sawtooth. Then, we put the other oscillator on. And you get two sawtooths. Then you detune the one sawtooth. And that's the main aspect of a Reese. That's detuned. You detune it so it goes out of phase with the other uh, sawtooth. Oh, sorry. This this one should be... At the, they all should be at the same octave. Otherwise, you get a weird sound. Okay. You hear that? That's the, the phasing uh, sound you get. Well... This sounds like a Reese, a bit, but it's not It's not enough. So you want you want more oscillators going on with the same thing. So what we do is we copy the patch of the Maelstrom. We create a new Maelstrom. Let's see here. Create a new Maelstrom. We paste the patch. And right now we have, um, let's see, we have, we have to connect it first, of course. Audio, uh, main output should be in the second uh, thing. All right. Now we have two of the same oscillator patches going on. So what we do, we detune this one as well. And now you have four different, differently phased oscillators. Now, just copy this patch again and let's add another one. Because we like it so much. Paste the patch. And we do the same thing. Connect it again to the third channel on the mixer. And this is probably the sound you're looking for. Now, uh, one thing, one main, uh, more important aspect in Reese making is the distortion. And that's common with Reese. So what we do, we have all the synthesizers going to this mixer. We will create a, a distortion unit. Um, hold shift when you create it so it doesn't connect itself. Then simply connect the output. The output of the main mixer. To the output of the screen. I mean the output of, of this to the, to the screen. The input I mean to the output. And then the input of the mixer. Um, the output of the mix to the screen. I'm all caught up here. Okay. What you do now. You, for example, use the tape, uh, tape distortion. still sounds pretty rough, but that's the thing. It, a good Reese uh, takes a lot of development. So it's a lot of trying out and uh, working on this base, basis. But really, it's just this. It's just a synthesizer with sawtooths phased out and uh, distorted. And then you can add more effects like phasing chorus. I, I can show it right now if you want. Um, you can use the phaser. Oh, 
Another thing that's uh, fun to know, a bit too late for that, but um, you can use the legato switch on the Maelstrom. What it means is if I um, if I press two, um, if I press one key and then I go to the next key, it doesn't re-trigger. So it just uh, play. It doesn't. Um, it it plays the same same uh, note or the same sound, but on another pitch. So you just have to hear it. Um, put the polyphony on one if you use legato. This means you can only uh, use one note. You can't uh, you can't use more no more uh, voices than one uh, key. Um, the thing is, you have to do it at every synth now. So I was a bit late with that. You can just uh, press multiple keys and you will only hear one sound. One note. Okay. Um, one another f one last thing. Um, the portamento switch. What that does is simply. Um, make a sort of glide effect from one note to, to another like if i do this you get this the, you have no glide it's it's it switches from note to note all of a sudden like okay so if we add portamento and again we have to do it with every synth of course and this has to be the same uh, value this is 80 so we make this 80 and this 80. But you just have to add your own creative, um, yeah, how do you call it? Just your own creative flavor to it because the release has been done so much in drum and bass and you aren't going to be doing anything new if you use it. But you can, however, use it as a base for a lot of different sounds. Uh, look at Noisia, for example. They use a release, but they, they totally twist it up and change it around to make it a whole uh, new sound. And that's the thing. But it's it's helpful to know the base, basics of uh, making a release. So... Hopefully you know now. If you have any questions, you can just uh, ask me. Surf to my website, panda.dmb.com, and I'll be happy to answer them for you.